Hi guys! In this video, I am going to show you how to create a gate charts. They are also called dial charts or speedometers. And in this video, I am going to illustrate how to create one of those charts. And these gate charts usually have a minimum value and also they have maximum value. And there is also current value which is indicating the value of selected player which this uh, indicator so for example if i select another player and you are going to see that the pointers are changing so in this video we'll be doing that let's go and do it first of all go to your data set select one of the cell then on the ribbon go to the insert then select pivot table Let's go and create a new pivot table. And then this is our pivot table area. And I am going to select the name of the players. Then I am going to go and select the value that I would like to create as a gauge chart. I'm going to go and select the success rate. Okay. You'll see that my names, the names of the player came to here. I will select it and drag and drop to the rows. Then I am going to go and get the average of success rate. So these are my average success rate. Then go to your dashboard and make a right click on your slicer and go and report the connections and go and select the last pivot table that you have created to make sure that we link it with the slicer. Okay, I'm se I selected that and then go to your pivot table. This, these are my, this is my pivot table. Now in this cell, I am going to go and say equal and I would like to get this value. Then I will press enter. Then I will go and make this percentage then I'm going to come to here this cell and I am going to go and insert one percent then here I need to write some piece of formula I'm going to say that equal to 100 minus this cell minus this cell so what does it mean 200 mean here is that uh, actually, it depends on the maximum value of my chart. For example, if the maximum value in my chart, if it's if it will be the 100, then you need to enter here 200. If your maximum value is 200, you need to uh, write 400 here. Press Enter. Make sure that you make this. Uh, percentage as well oh we need to make the 200 percent as well percentage okay now go to your ribbon insert go and select the done chart make sure that one of the empty cell is selected go and select done chart so this is empty the chart let me make it bigger and make a right click on your chart or you can do it from here as well go and select data now we are going to insert a series here so it called it a series then I'm going to code go to the y values and I will enter five times one 1 comma 1 comma I repeat it for five times and at the end I'm going to go and insert five here then I will say okay this is my donut chart make sure that you selected your chart make a right click on it then go to format data series and here we are going to 
angle of first slicer we are going to set this 270 okay then we are going to make the donut hole size around 34 35 let's make it 35 then select your chart okay go to change colors you can play around the design of the color of your chart okay i'm going to make it this color then go and select the this half of your chart then on the format data point select the fill and make it no fill color because we need the half of it right the next thing we are going to do here is let's go and select your chart okay make a right click on it go and select data now we are going to go and insert another data set go and say add and this is our second series and delete this y value and go and select the three cells that we have created okay from c to e right we have created three uh, value here then say okay so our done chart is created based on those values so go and select your donut chart then go to change chart type then go and select pie chart okay then go and select the the bigger the big portion of the chart and go and select from the format data point make it no fill and go and select this part as well and make it no fill then go and select the, the smallest part of it this is the one percent coming from here from the format go and change the shape color then I will make it no fill okay this is my shape basically and you are going to see that there are some fields appear here go and select your pie chart and go to format and the shape outline make it no outline so it's all set now let's go and select your this small uh, small part of your chart and go to your chart design then go and add chart element I'm going to put it to outside end okay and then go and select this tiny box then go to home and make it bigger okay then go and select your box go to the formula bar and say that equal and go and select this number okay now my chart is ready and another thing that we need to do with our slicer is that Go and select pie chart and make sure that you set the angle of first slice to 270. Okay. And then you are going to see that we our shape has white as a background color and it also has outline. Go to the format, then go to the shape fill and make it no fill and go and select no outline as well now it's ready to have it on our dashboard copy your chart go to your dashboard and paste it anywhere you like okay and you'll see that we have some legends here i will select and just delete it so now if you play around with your slicer and you are going to see that it is interactive with your slicer.
So guys, this is how you can do your gate chart and good luck with it. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.